In the previous videos, I designed and built my computer's adder and logic block. Both of those systems take two binary numbers as inputs and generate several outputs. The adder generates a sum, and the logic block generates six logic functions. In order to build a computer, I need some way of choosing which of the many outputs I want to actually use for a given operation. To do that, I need a multiplexer. A multiplexer, or MUX for short, is a device that can choose one out of many input signals and connect it to the output. A separate selection input tells the MUX which signal we want. A relay can form a basic multiplexer. By connecting an input signal to each of the normally open and normally closed poles, and turning the relay on or off, we can choose which input signal appears on the armature terminal. This is an example of a 2 to 1 multiplexer, since it uses one selection bit to choose from among two signals. We can use this 2 to 1 multiplexer as a basic unit to construct more complicated multiplexers. Let's add two more relays. We'll connect their armatures to the input terminals on the first relay, and we'll connect their coils in parallel to another selection signal. Two select bits gives us four possible combinations, allowing us to select one of four inputs, making a four to one multiplexer. We can add a third row of relays with their coils in parallel as well, making an eight to one multiplexer, and so on. We can continue in this way, building an arbitrarily large pyramid of relays to multiplex as many signals as we want. But I only need to deal with seven signals from the ALU, so the eight to one multiplexer will suffice. The PCB design for the multiplexer is pretty straightforward. It consists of a pyramid of seven relays. The three pins in the middle of the I.O. section are the select bits. The rightmost select bit operates the four relays on the bottom of the pyramid. The middle bit operates the two relays in the middle, and the leftmost bit operates the relay on top of the pyramid. Because current can flow through the relays in either direction, this board can be configured to work as either an 8 to 1 multiplexer or a 1 to 8 demultiplexer, which takes a single input signal and routes it to one of eight destinations. In multiplexer mode, the output is connected to the armature of the top relay. Its normally open and normally closed poles are connected to the armatures of the two relays in the middle layer. The four terminals of those relays are connected to the armatures of the four relays in the bottom layer. And the eight terminals of those relays are connected to the multiplexer inputs. Because my relays have two independent poles, I'm actually creating two separate multiplexers which share their select bits. The second channel works exactly the same as the first, using the right-hand poles of the relays. Nothing on this board requires its own power connection, but I included the 5 volt input anyway since it does need a ground connection and I might as well use the same connector everywhere. Thank you. 
test for this board is very simple and doesn't even require any Arduino code. I've configured the board in DMUX mode, with the two channel inputs connected to constant power, and the 16 outputs showing on the LEDs. Since there are three select bits, there are eight input states. I'll try them all manually and make sure the input signal appears on the correct output. With the multiplexer finished, I now have all three ingredients that I need to build my complete ALU. Since each MUX board can handle two channels, I'll need to build eight of them to handle all 16 bits of ALU output, but I'll save that for a future video. For now, thanks for watching.